and weather expert Wes Peary. Well, plenty of clear sunny skies led way to a beautiful sunset tonight, but this sunset had a little bit of interaction all the way up from Canada. All the wildfires that are burning right now in central Canada brought down smoke thanks to the way that the jet stream is situated. So it left us with a bit of an orange sun as the sun began to, of course, set this evening. Thanks to the National Weather Service for uh, tweeting that picture out for us. Made for a uh, pretty interesting night and still a pretty, pretty comfortable night as well. 78 degrees is currently our temperature. Not too muggy outside either. That's because our winds are calm. They were out of the north earlier. That's really cutting off all the moisture from getting up here from the Gulf of Mexico. Most of us are really enjoying these 70s right now. 75 in Joplin, 74 in West Plains, 73 is a little bit further up north. They're still close to 80 up there in Clinton, where it's 79 degrees. Highs today, very, very summer like, very average for this time of year. Our normal high is 85. We got to 86 here in Springfield. Same thing for Branson and West Plains. Fayetteville hit their average. And Joplin, Clinton, upper 80s, near 88, almost 90 for Clinton. And there's the real big picture for our weather. Most of the shower activity that we saw we're dealing with yesterday evening. It's well pushed off near Indiana, near Ohio. And our next rainmaker is all the way up in Canada where those wildfires are. And so hopefully these rain showers that are up there right now can really help uh, disperse those showers. But those storms are going to make their way down here. By the time we get to our Wednesday afternoon and even into our Wednesday evening as well, there's that low pressure system in that cold front that caused that tornado warning earlier, or excuse me, later in the day on our Sunday. But high pressure is going to fill in. That's what we've been experiencing today. It's going to continue on into our day tomorrow. But the next low pressure system and cold front and warm front that's right now over the Dakotas is going to come down to us into our Wednesday afternoon and for our Wednesday evening and give us a pretty good chance of those showers and thunderstorms. And that jet stream is what was bringing down all of that smoke from Canada and it's going to continue to bring down low pressure systems after low pressure systems and on top of that we have a stationary front that's going to begin to build up right along the I-70 corridor. So what that means for us is rain chances just about every single day in the latter part of this week and for our weekend as well. Thankfully nothing severe to speak of but no one wants to have a wet 4th of July weekend. As far as our hour by hour goes tonight expect mostly clear skies as we start our day tomorrow. Expect sunny skies as well. Slight chance we could see some pop-up showers well off to the west of Joplin, but everyone should be dry for our day on Tuesday. And here comes the rain showers. This is Wednesday morning, 7 o'clock, Rolla, Lake Ozark, Fort Leonard Wood. You're going to get on the rain showers first, and then the rest of the rain is going to come down with it. And by 5 o'clock and on 8 o'clock, we should be really seeing those showers and thunderstorms. So on the way home from work on your Wednesday, you may need that umbrella and those windshield wipers on. Tonight, though, should be beautiful outside. Upper 60s for overnight lows, clear skies. Here in Springfield, it'll be about 67. Seven degrees and should be a great night to check out Venus and Jupiter. They'll be hanging around each other oh, right by the moon. Tomorrow, very, very summer like. 90 degrees for a high here in Springfield. Most of us are going to be in the upper 80s. Some of us will be above 90 for Branson and for Joplin. Other than that, very summer like. Next seven days, well, it's going to be a bit of a wet a couple of, well, it's really wet the rest of the week. Wednesday is when the shower chances really ramp up. And then just chances of showers for Thursday and Friday. But then by the time we get to our Saturday and our Sunday, they're just isolated chances. So when you're making your plans this weekend for the 4th of July, don't let all those rain chances completely ruin them. They're just going to be isolated chances. So really, I think we'll be dry for the most part, but we just cannot rule out seeing those showers and thunderstorms. But hopefully we can get those showers out of the way on our Saturday morning. And if the ground's wet, that's a good thing because then the fireworks will be a little bit safer for everybody. Yeah. Exactly, and then everyone Optimism. Was okay, and the viewers' club number? <laughs> that number tonight is 208-279 with a jackpot at $600. All right, Wes, thank you. On the way here at 9, communities react to news tonight that two escaped...